Okay, fans, let's get ready to put your hands together for these guys, these drivers. Hi, what's your name? Uh, Lauren Gettiner out of Hagerstown, Indiana, driving the 4955 Up and Adam. The Up and Adam. Was that your last year's winner of the Nationals? Of the NTPA Grand National Championship. There you go. He's here. And your name, sir? Esden Lane, Dayton, Minnesota, driving the IH 1486 Redline Fever and the MX240 Redline Fever 2. No familiar face to this one. Hi there, what's your name? Brian Stromick out of Williamsburg, Missouri, driving an Agco DT225 Youngblood. There you go, the Youngblood tractor. Yes, sir. Jay Fuquay out of Springfield, Tennessee, driving Tennessee tracks. Okay, another red one. Brandon Hunt, Herndon, Kentucky, driving the Case IH 8930, known as Living the Dream. Norman, Oklahoma. Living the Dream tractor. Jeff DeMars, Storm Lake, Iowa, driving the smoking hot deer. The Iowa puller. David Henderson, Spring Valley, Minnesota, IH 1066, Stray Horse. Okay, we got a one out of Minnesota. Kent Payne, Petersburg, Indiana, 1066, Rooster Cruiser. That Rooster Cruiser tractor. Steve Blagrave, Knott, Texas, on a red horse. How many miles did you drive to get here? Uh, we don't count the miles anymore. We just come. <laughs> it takes him almost a day and a half to be here. And your name, sir? Jim Shandorf, Dora, Michigan, driver of Radical Red. There you go, fans. Steve Burge, Lynn, Indiana, driving the 1066 Lock and Load. Well, there's another Indiana puller. Matt Goodwin, Farnhamville, Iowa, driving an MX255, the Intimidator. A uh, second generation driver. I'm Jerry Van Dorpe from Charlotte, Michigan. I'm driving a 986 International, known as a Screaming Demon number two. Our senior citizen of the pullers. And your name? Dennis Goodwin, Farnhamville, Iowa, Case IH, Magnum Force. Okay, there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give our 8,200 pounds super stock pullers a nice round of applause. Welcome them to Freedom Hall. Have you all here, really. How about Orange, the Alice Chalmers people? Do we have any Massey Ferguson fans here tonight? All right, well, that's not too good of a sign down there right now on the championship tractor here, I'll tell you. Well, they got a little bit of a problem down there. It doesn't look like too much. If they can get it to turn over, it'll suck all that smoke right in the intake and put it back out the exhaust. So it'll go. And, of course, our word fit led on the starting line. Lauren Gettinger, ladies and gentlemen, coming at you. The National Tractor Pull Association champion for 2005 in diesel super stock. Let's see what happens here tonight. You know, these guys don't have to worry about warming up so much, but come Saturday night, if the temperature's in the 20s, these diesels have a little bit of a problem, you know. They'll be outside warming up a long time. There we go, there fans. We go. All right. Oh, man. What a way to start. Good hook right there. Where are the John Deere fans? Five and 86. 245 and 86. 245.86 here tonight. How about a nice round of You know, Syngenta, the world leader in crop production, presents the most powerful sports on earth. And here we go again now with the man out of Dayton, Minnesota, coming your way, Esden Lane. He'll be up next. Many-time national champion along the way, and he brings that favorite tractor of his, that Red Line Fever, on board here tonight. Do we have any Esden Lane fans? Where's my Esden Lane fans? Come on, Red. Now the full pole distance hasn't been set. The committee sets the full pole distance, so we'll get right back with you when all that takes place. Well, we got Scott Doty at this end. Scott He's our Doty. flagman, great guy, coming to us, uh, I believe, out of Michigan. He comes that way. And then we've got, of course, Mike Ott on the starting line out of Ohio. You know a little bit about Mike Ott. 
Then back in the uh, pit area, we got uh, John Blaney out of Pennsylvania doing all the teching. That's so right. we welcome all those guys back. And then we had Larry Richwine this year this year with the fuel too, don't we? That's right. So got some fuels checks. Yes, legal. we do check their fuel. Yes, we do. Make sure it's legal, as we do. Bet some of you guys back here don't mind us checking your glass in there, do you? I mean, what, what do you got in your cup? All right, Red fans, here we go. Esden Lane, enough said. I said this was a non-smoking facility. I quit. No more. That's enough for me. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, well, all you rookies here in the audience, if you've never been to a tractor pull, welcome to pulling. I know what you red fans are thinking. You're thinking that tractor hot enough to melt the tube down, right? Where's the red fans? Six, 243.16. 243 here tonight. 243.16. So we'll need to uh, get our hose fixed here. And uh, we are still unofficial, but the boys will get to it here in just a minute and make their, uh, their charge here if they can. Ladies by a fifth grader who What's this uh, book? is named by the name of Ron Schneider. It's written by a fifth grader? He's a fifth grade boy, Ron Schneider. And his grandfather's name was Art Schneider. And unfortunately, Art passed away last week, and he was just, his funeral was just this past weekend. But the thoughts of this young boy, just barely getting ready to go into junior high, I guess, is something else. And I'd like to read it to you, fans, if I could. This is the essay that he wrote about his grandfather. It's called My American Hero. My American Hero isn't a baseball or football star, nor has he ran for any type of office. But he does put food on the table for everyone because he is an American farmer. My American hero is my grandfather, Arthur Schneider. My grandpa is now 88 years old. He milked cows by hand before he had a milking machine or a pipeline milker. He also remembers when he farmed with horses. He knows all the hard work that went into farming before there were tractors. Like his father before him, he learned from his father. Days were spent in the fields, morning and evenings in the barn milking cows. He tended to pigs and chickens too. And he remembers when the neighborhood farmers would get together and help each other with the thrashing and bringing in the harvest. He doesn't know much about modern technology like computers, iPods, I kind of like that, CDs and stuff like that. And he thinks Harry Potter is our neighbor, Herm Potter. Mostly he knows about tractors, plows, disking, dragging, combining, collie packers, and grain burials. He knows all about soil samples and pH levels. He knows how to pick out a good milking cow. He could have been a veterinarian for all he knows about cows and other animals. He could have been a mechanic with all the knowledge he knows about fixing tractors and machinery. Grandpa raised two sons and instilled in them the love of farming and the love of the land. Through the years, my grandpa has seen a lot of hard times. My grandma died in 1987, and my Uncle Don died in 2001. In 1994, he gave up, he had to give up milking his cows. He always said the cows were the heart of the farm. Three years ago, he broke his arm when he slipped while getting off his tractor. Ouch, that must have really hurt. Anyway, all the hard work he's been doing on the farm has started showing up now. He has arthritis in his shoulder and hands. And now my dad and I help him to put out the crops. Sometimes he can't see too well, but he can see well enough to tell 
my dad when the rows of corn aren't straight. He still, still takes a lot of pride in seeing the amber waves of grain, seeing his machinery at work, and the earth getting turned over, getting ready for a new harvest. Although he is old and can't do much anymore, he, is still, he still has the heart and spirit of an American farmer. Ladies and gentlemen, a dedication tonight from James, Jim Shane Dorf. He dedicates his pull to Art Snyder and to the fifth grader, Ron Schneider. Let's give him a round of applause. How about it? Hey, that's pretty good, coming from a fifth grade class. Don't tell me these kids aren't very good. All you see on the 6 o'clock news is the bad stuff. Tell me there's a lot more good stuff going on out here at the 6 o'clock news than what is really being told. And we really thank him for that. Hey, fans, we're just down there. We All right, here we go, Orange fans. We're ready to go pulling now. Ryan Schrammick on the starting line. This guy's been a true believer for years of Orange. He's everything he's ever had was Orange, and I'll tell you what, it runs pretty strong. There's no doubt about it. Your leader, Lauren Gettinger, 245 and 86, and Esden Lane at 243.16. Okay, fans, not a bad run. I thought maybe he might be getting underneath that uh, turbocharger a little bit there for a few minutes, but he held her tight. I thought that turbo was going to grunt a little bit. He was trying to start getting under a little bit, but everything's okay. But he did come up a little bit short. And I think I'm going to go over and check, but I think they're going to let the weight transfer set just like it is. I think so, too. Two thirty seven and thirty three. Two, three, seven, and thirty three. Two thirty seven and thirty three here tonight. Up next, Jay Fuquay. Out of Springfield, Tennessee, the Tennessee Tracks machine coming to the starting line here. Jay Fuquay. Okay, Butch, they are going to let the sled set just like it is. It is good to go. Ladies, some time back, they had four hooks in one weekend, and this tractor won them all. Oh, is that right? He won them all. He does a lot of farming down there in Springfield. He's a big, big farmer. Big farmer in the ag business, I guess. Yeah, they do. And he also, I think they have a type of a roadside market also that they have along the way, too. So it's still pretty busy. But this tractor's no slouch. If he's on, look out. He can really, he likes running here in Louisville. See him all the time in Chapel Hill down there at the uh, NTPA pool, the, uh, down there, the it's Super Pool of the South. Super Pool of the South. And he runs there quite extensively. All right, here we go. Jay Fuquay. Out of Springfield, Tennessee. Tractor known as Tennessee Tracks on the line here.
I think I read his lips. What it say? Oh, shoot, shut, shut. Yeah, something like that. Man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's unfortunate for him. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Jay Fuqua, ladies and gentlemen. A couple things could have happened there, Butch. Might not have had any damage at all. You know, he might have been right. Didn't have enough RPMs. You get underneath the turbo. There's not enough exhaust pressure going out to spin the turbos to put it all inside the motor. And he might got underneath the turbo. I thought at first... I One three zero point zero one. One thirty point zero one here tonight. Harold, did you say we are official? We, they are not gonna change it. We're, yeah, the sled is okay. official. They're gonna All go right. with it. Hey fans, backing up to the sled. Hey, this is his second hook here tonight already, and we've only run four tractors. We're talking about the other tractor, the Red Line Fever 2, none other than out of Dayton, Minnesota, Esden Lane. So Esden Lane on his second entry here tonight. He's already setting in that number two spot at 243.16. Green sets out in the front at 245.86. Now here comes the Red Line Fever 2 would like to change all that around. Go. Come on, Red fans. He's got a stuffer in the sand to get it done. Right there. Not tonight, Butch. MX 240. Hey, I think the old baby did a little bit better. Old Red Fever did, Red Line Fever did a little bit better than what the Red Line Fever 2 did. I'm sure it did. Yes, I'm sir. Sure it did. Hey, we'll get that distance marked here in the National Farm Machinery Show Championship Tractor Pull. Also, programs and earplugs are available in Freedom Hall. So you need some earplugs. We got the modified tractors coming up. You might want to take advantage of that. Also, the programs are available throughout the concourse area. 234.70. 234.70. Herndon, Kentucky. Living a dream, baby. All right, right there for the 89.30. Let's give him a nice round of applause, fans. How about it? Brandon Hunt, Herndon, Kentucky, and is living a dream. Fans, don't forget the 2006 championship tractor pull is available on DVDs and also VHS. DVDs or VHS videos are just $35 each. That includes all the classes in each pull, a session that is. You can buy the complete sets, includes all five pull sessions, plus the Thriller, and the Thriller tape has the top three finishers in each class. Stop by the sales desk in the front lobby of the Coliseum, or you can check out the inside back cover of the Tractor Pull program for a special discount offer on a full set of DVD 2 and 27. For Brandon Hunt, 202 and 27. John Deere people, where are my John Deere fans? All right, look what's coming here now. There's Jeff DeMars, ladies and gentlemen. Smoking hot deer coming to the starting line here. Lake Iowa fans, Jeff was in a chase a couple of times for the national championship of the NTPA, and uh, he runs very strong around the area. On deck, Dave Henderson coming your way out of uh, Spring Valley, Minnesota. Oh. Now you red fans, don't you say a word. Why, you red fans are nasty. 
but they're having fun. Hey, we'd like to recognize the FFA chapter out of Harrisburg, Illinois. Section uh, driver, he does very well with his tractor. Randy Hinton also shares the seat with him at times as they come to the starting line here. David Henderson, Spring Valley, Minnesota. On deck, Kent Payne out of Petersburg. Well, you and John Deere fans are having a ball, aren't you? <laughs> oh, boy. Come on, fans, if you get to see in your heart, let's give him a nice round of applause. Come on, that stray horse. David Henderson, 191 and 73. 191 and 73 for David Henderson. 191. Point seven three. Yowie. Ouch. We don't like to hear that. Wow. Well, Harold's going to go try to see if he can find out exactly what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Kent Payne. What a way to start the season out, huh? Could have just jumped out of gear, might have got a rear end. We don't exactly know what happened to the tractor, but tough here tonight. 141 and 37. 141 and 37. 141 and 37. Harold? Well, something in the drivetrain will go. Don't know for sure what it is, for, but uh, definitely something right underneath his feet there. He could feel it and uh, something in the drivetrain. Well, he's got a smile on his Last time this tractor ran last year, it had a, they scattered parts all over. Another former national champion right here. Yes, sir. Yes, they were. Their dad announces antique tractor poles. He's involved very much so. Well, you know, I think they're happy boys. I right. think so too. Yes, sir. On a brand new motor like that, they are very happy. Let's give him a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, out of uh, Texas. A lot of heat, a lot of heat built up, a lot of liquid coming out of the bottom, but mostly water. Probably got a hose along the way here. 228 and 21. 228 and 21. For you folks keeping score, 228 and 21. Give him a nice round of applause. How about it, Red fans? What do you say? The Blay Graves. Well, that puts them in the number five spot at this point. Well, Jim kept her together and the wheels kept it turning. We'll have his distance in just a moment. How about it, fans? Put your hands together. That's a pretty good run. Out of Michigan. He's going to shake the order up. 230 and 10. 230 and 10. Now, let's see who's on the bubble here. Building up the RPMs real slow. You 
you got to do that with multi turbocharger systems. All right, there you go, fans. The lock and load, and I think that uh, I think it's Mr. Blagrave just dodged another bullet right there. Oh boy, the lock and load tractor. Out of Indiana. And 29. 208.29. For Steve Burge here tonight, 208 and 29. All right, here we go. Matt Goodwin up next with the Intimidator. He'll be up next. Out of the state of Iowa. This is the second generation of pullers out of the Goodwin Stables. Matt doing the driving. Dad will be coming up a little later. Green flags are showing. Matt building up the boost into turbos. Here we go. Here's a second generation puller. His dad's still pulling too. He'll be the last competitor in the class. Matt Goodwin. Farnhamville, Iowa. Right there. They ran her out of horsepower. They ran out of horsepower. They sure did. In this short track, they might outguess the gears. Might outjump the one gear too many. Just a little bit too high a call. How about giving the Intimidator a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, out of Iowa, Matt Goodwin. 211 and 34. 211 and 34 here tonight. 211.34. All right, Harold, let's give us a rundown. The top six. Number one, Lauren Gettinger, 245 and 94. Number two, Esden Lane and Redline Fever. Number three, Brian Schrammick and uh, Young Blood. We've got uh, Esden Lane, 234.70 with Redline Fever 2. Then we jump down to uh, the uh, Jim Shandorf tractor, 230 and 10. And stay, Steve Blagrave, 228 and 21. And the next guy to pull out of Charlotte, Michigan, the Screaming Demon number two. Hey, we talk about senior citizens. This is Jerry Van Dorby. That's but exactly right. This is the senior citizen of the senior citizens. Now he's got a few rides underneath his seat, I'll tell you that. Yes, he does. Thank you so much. To make that number six spot. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he made a great run. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Jerry Van Dorpe. Charlotte, Michigan fans. And Screaming Demon number two. One to go, point six one. 218 and 61 here tonight. Well, as the Van Dorpe tractor goes out, that tractor has so much history. Started its roots up in Canada and winds up on the Van Dorpe farm in Michigan. A final hook. They got some guys riding the hot seat here. 
Harold, it looks like the smoking hot deer left the arena, so he's not down there, so it must be all over then for Jeff. Here we go, Red fans. Wow. And right there. Well, fans, there you go. First class is done. The winner, it's a John Deere tractor. Okay, fans, while we give you, wait for the final distance, why don't everybody stand up and take a break? Come on, you guys stand up and uh, stretch them out a little bit and uh, get a little more comfortable. 04 and 62. So we'll have our top six names that are going to go to the final. We'll start getting our trophy presentations ready here in just a minute. We'd certainly like to thank our equipment sponsor, John Deere. All our equipment out on the track, John Deere. We thank those fine people. Jeff Darmers on Smoking Hot Deer could not come back. Hans Boxer, he scratched a long time ago. Finishing number 14, Jay Fuqua on the Tennessee tracks. 13 went to Ken Payne, the Rooster Cruiser. Number 12 went to the stray horse, uh, David Henderson. In the number 11 spot, Brandon Hunt, a living a dream. In the number 10 spot, Dennis Goodwin, the Magnum Force. In the number 9 spot, Steve Bird on the lock and load. In the number 8 spot, Matt Goodwin on the Intimidator. Number 7 went to Jerry Van Dorpe, the Screaming Deer. Number 6 went to the Blade Graves, the Red Horse. Number five went to the Radical Red Tractor. Number four went to Esden Lane, and Butch has the top three in the winner's circle. Oh man, this is awesome. I'm just about speechless right now. Uh, it sure feels good. Um, this being my second year as far as driving down here. I've been down here a lot of years. Um, we had a little bit of misfortune last year, but man, it feels great to be out here in this spot right now. Well, being national champion, I guess you had a lot of pressure on you coming in here tonight, right? Oh, let's just say a little bit of pressure was on a lot of people saying, oh, you can do it here and there, you know, and just say, well, just as long as if we can make Saturday night, that's the main goal, and then we'll work on that. Work. Anybody you want to thank tonight at all? Oh, yeah, I got to thank uh, the Kentucky Fair Board. Um, you announcing for Butch, all the fans for coming out. This is awesome on Wednesday night out here. Um, thank my dad. Uh, we work hand in hand, and... This is, this is pretty good. This is pretty awesome right now. I think I just about said enough right there, fans. First John Deere since 1997, fans. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Lauren Gettinger. Hagerstown, Indiana, the winner here tonight. Our trophy presenters representing Syngenta, Dan Billmeyer. He's the uh, district manager for Ohio and Michigan, representing the commissioner's office of agriculture. The Agriculture Office tonight, Judy Foreman, uh, of course, Richie Farmer, our Commission of Agriculture, and then we have Bill Toll, representing Kentucky State Fair Board. Wow, Mr. Lane, congratulations, man. Yeah, that was, uh, I've never seen a Louisville track this tough. Was it tough tonight? Yeah, it broke the poor motor in this thing. <laughs> Did it break this motor? Yeah, it's got the block pushed apart. Oh, man, can you get her fixed? Oh, I'm sure we'll come up with something. <laughs> you always do, don't you? Do you have a spare motor with you? Uh, not this time yet. We're still waiting for enough parts after the last blow up at Bowling Green. Is that right? <laughs> Can't well. I'm sure sorry about that. But, uh, you know, Esden, it just always seems like you're here. And we're glad you're here and you always come back. And you're always one tough competitor, regardless of wherever you are, whether it be Chapel Hill, Tennessee, Bowling Green, Ohio, Louisville, Kentucky, you're always there. Yeah, and I'd I like to thank all the sponsors here, Syngenta. I even like to thank the Gettingers for making work on my stuff this hard to keep up. <laughs> yeah, you finished second last year, didn't you? Yeah, we finished second last year and third with the other one. Well, congratulations on a great year. Thank you much, Butch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here you go. Number two, I'm sorry, number two here tonight, your winner, um, for the second place, I should say, Esden Lane out of Dayton, Minnesota. Give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Any Alice Chalmers fans here? Brian, there's not a lot, but congratulations. Did you have any idea you'd be here tonight? I, I didn't have a clue that we could, but it's uh, we got some awful tough competition that, that we knew coming into it, and 
when uh, all you do is hope for the best, and it pulled out tonight. Well, we got four red ones, one green and one orange going to Saturday night. Awful good color. It's going to be represented good. Did you think the track was tough tonight? It, it agree with Esden. It was the toughest track. I've been here 15 years, Paul, and this is my best finish, and it's got to be the toughest track we've been on here. I hear anybody you want to thank tonight? I'd like to thank Syngenta, uh, the Kentucky Fair and Exposition, and, and uh, Tractor Pool Committee, and uh, uh, my helper, uh, engine builder, Max Simpson, and, and Riverside Engines, and, and then my family, the crew. So, yep, yep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're a fine young man, and we're glad to see a little orange in there tonight. Do you notice the shirt I was wearing tonight by chance? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Brian Stramick, fans, he is number three here tonight.